Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video with the little Peugeot Django. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is fitting a rear pillion seat. And not only that, also replacing the, uh, the fairly poor and rusty chromed grab rail with these, with these grab handles uh, instead. Uh, as you can imagine, they, they will fit on something like that with the seat in the middle. So, uh, yeah, basically the reason why I wanted to do this is because both my wife and I um, hold uh, full bike licenses and as such we're allowed to carry uh, pillion passengers because we don't have to have L plates on the bike. So, yeah, uh, I've been on the, uh, on the lookout for one of these for quite some time. Uh, it was quite hard to find one in brown, um, you know, on the second hand market. Plenty of black ones, I've seen black ones for ages. Brown ones, not so much. Uh, obviously, I found it on, uh, on eBay and I snapped it up uh, as soon as I saw it. So yeah, what we need to do obviously is we need to take this, um, this cover off, remove the grab rail so, uh, so that we can fit these. So let's, uh, let's get stuck into it. Okay then, so first things first, with the seat up, we can see um, what's holding the, uh, the storage box in, uh, in its place. And there's two 10mm bolts at the back here, and then a couple of torque bolts at the front, um, which we'll remove, and that'll allow us to move the box out of the way. It doesn't have to come completely out. I've got the cable from the battery charger running through here, so, and I, I can't be bothered to de-pin it, so I'll just move it forward. And we need to get these ones out because this cover here is also held in by those uh, by those bolts too. Uh, the rear the rear cover, the rear battery cover. Just one screw here. Pop that screw out, and it will slide off just like so. And there's obviously where the battery lives. So this battery box needs to be moved. There's another bolt just here because as you can see here, we, whilst you can get to these bolts, these Allen headed bolts, you can get to the ones at the back. So yeah, what we need to do, remove all of these screws, bolts, etc. And then we should just have enough room to move it forward just so we can get this out without having to take it all apart. Um, so I'll go and grab the uh, 10 mil socket and we'll get these whipped out. Okay, first off T20 for the front two bolts. switch to a 10 mil And as you can see, we've got plenty, plenty of access. So move this forward so we can get into these two bolts without having to take everything about because obviously we'd have to take the battery out and everything. So save ourselves a little bit of uh, a little bit of the hassle there. So next, I need to get my uh, Allen socket and uh, we can get the bolts out for the uh, for the grab rail. Okay, six mil Allen. Crack the ball off. There is a washer behind each one as well, 
I did actually hear that one drop. I'll recover it in a moment. There's the washer, as I said before. side and there we go there is the old one removed pretty straightforward just literally four bolts so now what we can do is we can get the uh, the replacements fitted okay to fit the uh, to fit the new ones it's literally a case of just popping them into place and refitting the bolts. Now as you can see on these grab rails they are a little bit scuffed from being in storage and what have you and being a little bit abused but I'm not particularly worried about that because the whole bike's covered in scuffs anyway uh, but I can get them re-powder coated later okay that's all the bolts in let's just get them up to touch Tighten. There probably is a torque spec for these in the uh, in the manual. I'm just gonna give a little a little tweak. Now what we can do, we can put all of this back together. Okay, now what we need to do is just obviously get all of this back together the way it was and get all the bolts back in, little 10 mil ones, make sure they're back in their respective holes. T20 and the two at the front can go back in their holes two there we go okay next rear saddle okay then rear seat um at the front here we've got like a little clip which is a retainer for the obviously for the bolt um however what won't happen is the screw that came out holding the cover on is just too thin and it's, it falls through so what i've got here is a little m6 bolt uh which i just had in my little box of bolts 
um, which should do the job fine, 10 mil head, okay? So that's worth bearing in mind, you will need a uh, replacement bolt because the one that comes out doesn't go back in um, because the clip is different on the, on the cover than it is on the saddle. Here we've got two, uh, two little hooks, they hook in here. There are two recesses inside the actual steel frame under this plastic that they hook into, so it is structural. And then these two blocks here, just neatly in there, just, just like that. So to fit it, all we do, start at the back and slide it forward, just like so. And then pop the bolt through and That is the saddle fitted. Job done. And as you uh, as you can see, I think it looks much better than just the cover um, that was there before. And the grab rails are now actually something substantial that a passenger can hold on to. So yeah, I think personally that that sets the bike off far better than the plastic cover did. And obviously now we can carry a passenger and it makes the, uh, the rear pegs actually useful uh, as opposed to the way they were before just never being used anyway guys that is it it's a really really simple job really really quick video uh, hopefully you uh, hope you like to some you know I, I like to put out a little bit of Django content every now and again there isn't a massive amount of it out there on YouTube so you know it makes a nice little change hopefully you enjoyed it if you did leave a comment below and uh, I will see you all again for the next video guys take care bye bye now